you know, the timing is right with this current piece I'm creating. Um, there's a lot of uh, 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 reasons behind I decided to do this piece is because there's a lot of, uh, you know, talk about still fracking done in, in, in the world, in the Americas, on Indian land. So um, what this does is it represents on how uh, indigenous person may or will feel and um, during the process when they watch the news or you know they see the process of people arguing that oil is you know more important than water you know and how do we justify that water is you know less important than something like oil which is literally you know uh, uh, money and greed Whereas water, you know, we have to depend on and survive with, you know, um, generations to come, the generations before us, we all depended on water and living off the land. So this particular piece depicts the deterioration of the earth by fracking and all the, 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 the power plants and, you know, how an indigenous person may feel about that. Well, at least I do, you know, as an indigenous person, how I would feel and how I was raised upon uh, respecting the land, you know, loving the earth, uh, celebrating the morning sun, celebrating the evening, you know, um, the four directions. You know, we all grew up believing that and that's what makes us a whole, you know, uh, as a human being. So this particular piece is a version of a Diné warrior a protector, so to speak, an unseen force that we all believe that exists out there. You know, we all believe in our own unseen forces that we believe in, you know, we pray to, we, 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 we ask for guidance, we ask for help. Well, this particular person being is out there and my belief is protecting the earth as much as he can, but this person exists within our hearts. So this person, this being, this supernatural being actually exists within us. So in order for this being to exist and to achieve its goal of protecting the land, we have to do our part as human beings to you know, uh, uh, allow our superpowers to actually overtake the conversation, overtake the narrative and uh, you know, take control of protecting our land, our water, our generations behind us you know, the, the, the generations that will depend on their livelihood, you know, on, on survival in this, in, this, in, this, in this deteriorating world. And I use the term loosely deteriorating because, uh, you know, right now we're going through a pandemic, you know, and uh, who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow, next year, you know, the year after that. So what we gotta do is instill this power within ourselves and participate in protecting the land. So this is what I created. It was this bolo tie. And um, it shows a, like I said, a Diné warrior, futuristic Diné warrior. He's holding a tomahawk. You know, um, nothing is more personal in a battle than using a personal item such as a knife, a tomahawk. You know, so it's personal for, his, for him. And he's holding a shield, you know, a war shield to, uh, you know, protect himself from all the forces that are stopping him from protecting this earth. So he has the war shield there. And um, he, of course, he's adorned with feathers, the beautiful feathers that adorn the land from the animals that, you know, that, 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 that roam the earth. So he's wearing feathers, he's wearing a tomahawk, he has a war, war shield. And um, his aura, his image appears to be around the earth. And uh, he picked out his stone that literally touched my heart when I first saw this particular turquoise. And um, it's so beautiful, yet it holds all the, the stories that I'm trying to explain of a deteriorating earth, a beautiful earth slowly deteriorating. So this is, I use a turquoise to represent the earth and it's deteriorating and the human being, the superpower being, the Dene warrior is overlooking the the earth and protecting it. And at the bottom of the bolo tie, I, uh, I incorporated two um, arrowheads um, representing the, uh, the stories of the Dene people of the twin warriors.
who also had their own battles, had their own battles fighting the, 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 <clears throat> the monsters, which in today we resemble the twin warriors in a way as we're battling our own giants, the pandemic, racism, fracking, you know, all this all comes in one. So we have our own giants to battle. And the whole bolo represents like, just a protection of the person wearing it and the protection of the person who's going to be protecting the earth. So that's basically what I created. And um, it's a personal piece, touches my heart very much, touches my family, touches everyone's family that I know. You know, we're all make it personal. Uh, it's a personal battle for each one. Each indigenous person should have this personal battle within us. As an artist, you know, um, I can create jewelry or I can create art. I can create a personal adornment or I can create something that's meaningful and that will actually carry weight, you know, in its meaning as well as its uh, uh, presence. So there's a difference. I can create jewelry and I can create art. And I choose to create art. It's not a jeweler, I'm an expressionist, I like to think, you know? I think all artists are. We're expressionists, we're um, revolutionists, we're, um, you know, resistors, we resist, we break the rules, you know, there's no limit to what we are capable of doing as humans, as artists. So that's my perception of being, giving my perception of art to the world is from me to you, is giving you my perception of how I feel. And I think that's what an artist should do.